The ventricle begins to contract, but the semilunar valve is still closed. Thus, pressure builds in the ventricle. As ventricular systole continues, pressure increases in the ventricle. The semilunar valve is pushed open, pushing blood into the aorta, increasing aortic pressure, and allowing blood to flow to the rest of the body. When the ventricle reacts into diastole, the pressure drops. Blood flowing back into the ventricle causes the semilunar valve to close. The atrioventricular valves remain closed. Blood flowing passively from the pulmonary veins to the left atrium. The left atrium has a low pressure because it's in diastole and lets the majority of the blood pass through the left atrioventricular valve and into the left ventricle. The left atrium increases in pressure during atrial systole to push the remaining blood from the atrium into the ventricle. Atrium returns to diastole and the atrioventricular valve closes.